Hello beautiful souls, this is a healing message for the third eye chakra. Okay, so this is the sixth chakra and it's usually the colour indigo or like a purple. And it's found in the centre of your forehead and it's the doorway to the spiritual realms. If it's, it's to balance intuitive insights, telepathic abilities, a balance of emotion, reason, self-cognizance. If it's out of balance, you may have anxiety, headaches, blocked sinus trouble, sleeping and eyesight issues. Crystals to help with this are purple fluorite, amethyst, moldavite, black obsidian and oils you can use either massage or in your bath is bay, laurel, clary sage, cypress and juniper to wear black obsidian jewellery or amethyst. To do a meditation, imagine yourself laying in a field of indigo, iris flowers. Visualise a white light in your third eye area, cleansing and clearing. Visualise an indigo blue ball of light getting bigger and bigger and spinning faster and faster in this third eye area. And this will help reactivate your chakra. <clears throat> so we get some additional messages. So we have clarity, dreams. psychic development and visualizations so get your additional messages for you the ability to experience clarity is connected to third eye chakra and the more the chakra opens and is activated the more clarity you will receive it's time to see things clearly as to receive the answers you've been searching for. When the third eye chakra is blocked, it can affect our perception of solutions in our lives. You're being encouraged at this time to cleanse and work on strengthening your third eye chakra so it can work to its full potential. <clears throat> there are some great meditations you can do to activate the third eye. And a great crystal to activate and assist with this is the amethyst. Place the crystal on your third eye point and breathe in its energy to help activate and awaken your chakra. As your third eye opens, you will receive a lot more clarity in your life. Clarity comes when we can understand and clear the confusion around stressful situations in our lives. What in your life requires clearing? It is now time for you to action some clearing. Sometimes our minds create illusions that stop us from seeing the truth. It is time for you to let go of the thoughts that no longer serve you. And come into a place of clarity. <clears throat> Once you receive this clarity, you will feel a deeper sense of self and well being in your world. This card can also indicate it's time to clarify a particular situation in your life. You may have asked a question, and this card is telling you that once you work on finding clarity, <clears throat> the answers will come. Affirmation I experience life with divine clarity. Next message, dreams. This card is a sign dreams are a big part of your journey. It's time to take a little more notice of your dreams. Currently your soul is guiding you and offering you messages through this medium. You may like to start a dream diary to remember your dreams and to keep track of the messages you are receiving. It is easy for the soul to talk and communicate through our dreams because our minds experience less interference compared with our waking state. The answers you have been seeking are showing themselves clearly in your dreams. Take the time to discover them. This card can also represent the dreams you wish to create in your waking world. It's time to dream big. What would you love to create in your world? What are your dreams and desires? It would be very beneficial to take some time to focus your energy on what you'd like to manifest in your world. We are all co-creators with the universe and it is our birthright <clears throat> to manifest our dreams and desires. Know that you are worthy to receive abundance from the universe and it is time to weave your dreams into reality. Dreams do come true. You just have to believe you are deserving and open to receive the gifts when they appear in your life. Plant the seeds of your dreams into the soil of positivity. Nurture them with belief and water them with love. <clears throat> Soon your dreams will be showing your life with the most wonderful love and joy. 
Affirmation. I receive profound wisdom and guidance in my dream state. I manifest my heart's desires and dreams into reality. <clears throat> so that's beautiful. So next we have Psychic Development. Connecting to our psychic, aware psychic awareness is like having an extra sense. People often refer to it as the sixth sense. Everyone is psychic, including you. And now it's time for you to deepen your psychic abilities. You could possibly have a lineage of psychic ancestors as this gift can be handed down through your bloodline. There are four main ways we can connect to our psychic abilities. Through vision, hearing, knowing and feeling. These senses are like muscles. The more you work with them, the stronger they become. There is usually one sense that comes more naturally to you than the others, and you're encouraged to focus on it. <clears throat> this card is a reflection that it is time to start flexing your psychic muscle to discover new wisdom for yourself and others. It will be a great time to attend a workshop, to assist you, to read books, listen to podcasts. Whatever medium suits you, it is time to dive in. As you grow in your abilities, you will receive an abundance of wisdom, love and guidance to enjoy and share with others. Put it, pulling this card could also mean you have been working on your psychic abilities and you are encouraged to keep going as the answers for you at this time will come through your connection to your higher self. This is such a powerful time of development and learning. Make sure you take the time to honour and nurture your gifts and this process. Affirmation. I am deeply connected to my intuition and reclaim my psychic gifts now. Yeah, I mean, in my own life, I, I, um, I, you know, the more you use your intuition, the more you trust your intuition, the stronger it becomes. And it is like a muscle, you know, and you need to keep using it and keep practicing. And the more you do this, the stronger it will become, okay? So we have <coughs> visualization. Visualization is a tool for manifesting your desires and dreams, a powerful way for you to receive visions and messages from the spirit world. When we visualize, we activate the third eye chakra, and yours is currently expanding and awakening. You are encouraged to practice exercises that enhance this process, such as meditation and breath work. The color of the third eye chakra is violet, so you may like to imagine this color streaming into your third eye as it expands and awakens to its full potential. In this opening, you will receive strong visions and deep wisdom. Trust what is coming through for you. You will also deepen your intuition and psychic abilities as the third eye awakens. You are receiving strong signs and messages from your guides from the spirit world. It is important you slow down for a moment and go within to see what you are being shown. You could also be receiving signs from the earthly world and are encouraged to pay more attention to the visions around you. This card could also represent you are in a phase of creating and they're being asked to visualise strongly what you would like to manifest in your world. <clears throat> this is a very exciting time. Tune into your heart and bring forth the ideas and visions that are appearing to assist you on the next phase of your journey. This card can also be a sign that you need to take more notice of the visions in your dreams. Whatever this card means for you, make sure you nurture this powerful process as it brings you an abundance of gifts at this time. Affirmation, my third eye is open and I have profound vision. So beautiful messages there. And I have an amethyst. <clears throat> so it's beautiful amethyst crystals. I have a lot of amethyst. It's one of my favourite crystals. You see the beautiful colours. So what other messages do we have? We've got all paths lead to my destiny. Drink lavender tea to boost psychic knowledge and instill the sense that all will be well no matter what. The answers I seek are within. Hold a piece of amethyst to your forehead to activate your brow chakra. Ask a question and let your higher self answer. My spirit guides protect me. Light a purple candle and ask your spirit guides to surround you in a protective purple bubble. Miracles are coming my way. Imagine a ball of purple light radiating from your forehead to help visualise the miracles you want. I trust in a higher power. Sit cross-legged with straight back. 
while chanting the mantra OM to allow, to allow divine energy to flow through you. So some beautiful messages there. Hello, so now we've got some tarot messages. So we have the Queen of Coins. The Queen of Wands. The Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Cups. So we've got all the Queens here. So these are the different elements. So we have obviously the... The Queen of Coins, you know, is a provider. She's got financial stability. The Queen of Wands is someone that does, you know, takes action in the world, does things. The Queen of Swords is someone in their mind, a great thinker, very logical. And the Queen of Cups is of nurturing. Okay, so these are the different aspects in people. So if you're a masculine watching, you could be... Um, getting in touch with your feminine side and for those feminines of you these are the strong um, characteristics coming through okay so then we have the hierophant so this is about sort of um, formal religions and to me this card's like got a bit of magic in it and you can see there's like the third eye there so this could be somebody that maybe was raised, those of you that were raised in maybe a formal religion, and you're now getting more in touch with your spiritual side, and the third eye is awakening, you've got to see the eye there, all see an eye. So you're becoming more aware of your spiritual side. And then we have the Six of Swords. So someone is moving on from the past, they're taking their lessons with them. They're moving into smoother waters, lessons learned. And obviously the more you work with your intuition, the more you will have that inner guidance and that inner knowing to steer you in the right direction in your life, okay? So let's get some additional messages for you. So what are your spiritual gifts? So some of you watching this, we have star seed. So some of you could be star seeds. Okay, I'm not going to go into all the details now, but there are Pleiadians, Arturians, Andromedans, Orions, Felines. There's a lot more to it. Then we've got Healer. You could be a Healer. You could be an Indigo. These, as adults, are sensitive lively loving intelligent and curious driven to make changes in the world they have a lot of the color of this in their aura that's why they're called indigos and this is the color of the third eye chakra okay and then we have crystal children so these are people that usually were born on the planet from the year 2000 they often have unusual eyes they're sensitive physically and mentally they they may have allergies to lots of environmental factors and they're very spontaneous natural huggers they don't follow like uh, personal boundaries they they could be healers psychics they love music and singing but not um, very loud you know like rock music or hard music they're very loving and they, you know, if they see anyone in distress, they want to hug, you know, help them. These crystal children are usually born to people that are indigos. And they prefer to learn things for themselves, these crystal children, okay? So there's lots more online if you want to look that up, okay? So what else do we have here? Laughter. It really is the best medicine. Laugh every day, find the humour in even the darkest days. Watch your comedy film, favourite comedian to help you feel your mood. So laughter can help get you through some really tough times in life, okay? Regret. Do not live your life in regret from past mistakes or failures. Take the lessons from it and move on. Do not focus on regret. So that's what we've got here with the Six of Swords. Just move on. Take the lessons with you, okay? But leave the regret behind. Love. It's the highest vibration in the universe. Live it, feel it, give it freely. 
It's what make the world goes round. Yeah, we all need love, don't we? Love is very important in this world. And hope. Always have hope in your heart, as tomorrow is a new day. So never give up hope in your life, okay? Things will, can always change. So now we're going to get some messages for you related to intuition. And this is messages from some elementals. So this is the mermaid and dolphins. So we have tranquility here. Make time to relax, be still and enjoy your solitude, enjoy and indulge in much needed self-care. So always take time to look after yourself first and in that way you are able to help others, okay? But first of all, you must always look after yourself, take that time out to rest and relax and recharge. Treasure chest, an unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. So this could mean as well diving into your intuition, your your inner knowing, your higher self. You're going to find a treasure treasure ch chest of abundance in there. A lot of ancient knowledge and wisdom is in there. If only you learn how to tap into it. Okay. Rest. You've been working hard. Take a nap and get some rest. So yeah, it's important in life that we take that time out and we get that rest. You know, we're not robots. We need to take rest as and when and, and just honour yourself. You know, follow how you feel in your body. And if you need that rest, just take a nap, okay? You're being helped. Seven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see results yet. So, yeah, so there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes. We have guides, angels, and I'm going to touch on a bit more of that in the chakra healing reading when I do that. <clears throat> but, you know... You know, be assured there's always people or spirits or guys behind the scenes helping you. So you are being helped and you can call on them at any time to assist you in your life, okay? Self-employment. You're a born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. So those of you who've been thinking about going self-employed, this is confirmation that this will be very successful for you and you would get lots of opportunities. And again, you know, tap into your intuition, your inner knowing to get guidance on this because you already know the answers. Pay attention. Notice repetitive signs and your inner guidance as this can yield valuable information. So, yeah, we do get external signs as well, you know, from our guides, our angels. You can see signs, you know, you might see feathers, coins, you know, animal uh, number sequences, certain animal things you know to do birds in the sky cloud formations there's so many different ways you could get signs but we also have you know that knowledge and guidance within us so it's important to tap into your intuition and to learn to work with it as i say <clears throat> practice using it and the stronger it becomes the more you use it <clears throat> and we have soulmate relationship here new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now so some of you, there is a connection coming in and you could be linked telepathically as it's come through in this reading to do with telepathy and intuition. Okay, so tap into that, tap into this connection with this person and you can connect with them in, in the astral realm, even if you're not connected in the, the 3D realm at this moment. And, you know, by doing this, connecting every day, you will draw them to you. Blessed change. A major life change brings you great blessings. So things are changing in your world, okay? So just, just have trust and hope in this. Things are changing for the better. <clears throat> so now there's some messages from the fairies. Look in a book. Whatever your question right now, you'll find the answer in a book. The words you find will bring the insight you need, you seek. So some of you may have had a question in your mind. And as I say, we can always tap into our intuition as well. But for those of you that you know prefer to look into books or on the internet, it's saying you will find the answer to your question there. Okay, so do a bit of research. Manifestation. Be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Write it down on paper. Manifestation step one. So again, you know, using your intuition, connecting to your inner guides, your inner guidance. This will help you to manifest, as we said, you know, this third eye chakra is to do with visualisation. 
So use your visualisation to manifest what you want into your life. Life energy. The happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal everything, anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. So yeah, you know, we sometimes have to focus on that dark side of us. Okay, and once we do that, we can release that. You know, we all have that side to us. But focus on the light, focus on the bright energy and shine your light in the world. Don't be afraid to be who you are. Inner child, the fairies of playfulness remind you to take time out to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. So yes, sometimes we get caught up in working as an adult, don't we? You know, our responsibilities, you know, the chores, our day-to-day -day life, and we forget to have this play time and this innocent fun time. So remember to connect with your inner child and have that playful, fun, innocent time, maybe with your own children. Get outside and play games with them. You know, make each other laugh. You know, just get back in touch with that. Hope, and that already came up, didn't it? Hope is always there. Even if we can't see it, optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. So always have hope in your heart and look at the beautiful rainbow in the future there. Hidden depths. Something hidden is about to come to light, perhaps a secret or memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. <clears throat> so by doing this in a way, <clears throat> there could be some long forgotten thing in your own life that you've forgotten that comes to surface or this could be about ancient memories you know ancient ancestors you know your connection to that you know something's going to come to the surface and it's going to give you a lot of insight into who you are okay healing now is the time for you to give or receive healing everyone has a natural ability to heal others yes even you Yes, everyone has that ability to heal themselves, okay? And <clears throat> sometimes we go to healers because it's just a confirmation, it's just an assistance. And I'm a, a Reiki master myself, and all we're doing is assisting the person to heal themselves by connecting to the energies. It's like a connection through us, okay? So yes, just focus on your own healing at this time. And if there is anyone that you feel needs your healing, just reach out to them. Solitude. <clears throat> Think of being alone as me and you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during the quiet times. So that's beautiful. We need those quiet times to connect to ourselves, to regroup, if you like, to focus on who we are, what we want in life. You know, it doesn't mean about being lonely. Solitude is something that we all need at times, okay? And a good way to be in solitude is to go out into nature and connect with that, okay? That beautiful energy in nature is always uplifting. <clears throat> purity. Always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it you will find the answer to your question. So again, this is about going within, using your intuition, connecting to your higher self. And look at the beautiful unicorn. I just love unicorns. And it's such an innocent, beautiful, magical energy, isn't it? New beginnings. <clears throat> this fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby. So by tapping into your intuition, okay, you're going to come up with some brilliant ideas and insights, creative things, you know, again, by using your visualisations, your imaginations, connecting with your dreams. You know, you might get ideas in your dreams, okay? You get clarity because you're developing psychically, okay? But for some of you, this could also mean a new baby coming into the family. And we nurture that, don't we? We nurture the babies. You know, we are there to assist them in their growth. And do this with yourself, with your growth in connecting to your third eye chakra. Now some messages from the mermaids. Atlantis. <clears throat> Rapid development, excellent success. So some of you may 
connect to the lifetimes on Atlantis. You may have past life memories. In the Reiki healing, there is a past life healing that can be done. And this can activate past life memories. So if you've never had that done, that's very interesting to do. There's also past life meditations online that you can connect to. And this will awaken old memories in you, okay? Time and Tide. Oceanic spells and rituals. So yeah, just focus on yourself at this time. You know, focus on getting to know you, your inner knowing, your intuition, just develop it at this time. And maybe going by the ocean is a good way to connect to your intuition. You know, the sound of the ocean is very healing. Reflections. What you can contemplate can actualize. So again, by tapping into your intuition, you know, your visualization techniques, your manifestations, manifest these things into reality in your world. Farewell to the moon. Appreciate and enjoy the lunar light and cycles. We have another new moon coming up this week, which is in Gemini, which is on the 22nd, I think. And these are always very powerful cycles in the lunar calendar. So you could do a, a, a new moon ritual, okay, to help you tap into your intuition. Homeland, arrival, a journey ends, establishment, building, settled. So you could be connecting to a past life memory, going into your intuition, or this is about the, the end of one journey and the start of a new journey, and you're going to go more within to get to know yourself, okay? Imrama, wonder, voyage, crossing deep waters, pilgrimage, journey of the soul, yeah, as I just said. By connecting to your intuition, going within, connecting to your higher self, this is the start of the journey of your soul, you know, realising your power, your potential that you have to manifest these things into your world. Endurance, keep going. Sometimes, you know, we wish things and they don't happen immediately and we just feel that we want to give up. But the message here is just keep going, okay? This is a, a lifetime mission, basically. So just keep going, just focus on your goals. <clears throat> Wave of power. A surge of power, upswinging energy, exhilarating movement. So something's going to change. You're going to have um, some revitalization. I mean, life has been very stuck and stagnant for many people. So I think energies are changing now. We're going to have you know, an upsurge in energy. People are going to start being able to get out and about. And there's going to be more movement around. Sisterhood, friendship, allies, compatible souls, loyalty, joy, delight. So link up with those people that are similar to you, you know, on a similar journey, a similar soul mission. There's lots of Facebook groups. You can connect with people online with similar outlooks who may be further along the journey that can really help and assist you and support you in your journey, okay? Yearning. Longing for someone, undesired, separation, pining. So some of you watching this could be in separation. I mean, a lot of people are on twin flame journeys and you could be in separation from your person at this time. And it's very hard, you know, you just want to be with them. So again, use your intuition to tap into them, connect with them telepathically, okay? Vulnerability. Open your heart, allow yourself to be tender. So sometimes we put up barriers because we don't want to get hurt, especially if we've been hurt in past relationships. But the message here is be vulnerable. Don't be afraid to be open and honest with your heart, okay? Because it's only then that you can allow love in. Guide. A guide, a mentor, a trustworthy ally. So as I say, you could connect with someone on this journey who's going to be a guide to you, a mentor, who's going to assist you in your getting to know yourself on your soul's journey, connecting to who you really are deep within, okay? Vision, psychic images, clairvoyance, seeing out-of-body travel. So I know a lot of people can do astral travel 
and you may you know tap into your intuition as i said keep saying visualization <clears throat> have these visions visualize yourself you know you by tapping intuition you're gonna enhance your psychic abilities your clairvoyance you're gonna see and know things by keep using this third eye chakra okay so the final few messages from the fairies debt paid off the old way and habit of debt is lifted from you and life that's amazing so this is to do with karmic debts because saturn is going retrograde at the moment and that is about all past debts are being cleared at this time patience please what you're asking for is coming about have patience as there are unseen factors that need to occur first so this could do to the separation from somebody but you need to it's like a cake if you put it in the oven and you take it out before it's cooked it's not going to taste very nice so have patience with your person son your son is watched over and protected as he explores the world so some of you could have a child it says son but it may be a daughter who you're concerned with at this time but they're reassuring you that he's protected okay connect with nature you're rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outside as i said connect with yourself your intuition while you're outside it's a wonderful place to do meditations or just go within in in the nature you know in the tree around the trees the plants or by the ocean <coughs> emotional healing as your heart heals of old emotional pain you receive new blessings and love so we all need to work on our heart chakra to open our heart and as you do this your heart opens and you'll receive a massive healing winter the answers to your prayers and affirmations are fully realized in the winter months <clears throat> so this could be to do with those of you in separation <clears throat> which may see, seem a long way away but the way the year is going it won't be that long so things may be coming to fruition by the winter time it may be before winter time for some of you okay but by the end of the year basically things will have changed for the better and the color of this card as well is very significant if you can see <laughs> so do the work on your third eye chakra and connect with yourself develop yourself okay and it will bring you many blessings so i hope that's helped you so thank you for watching please like share subscribe comment down below and i will see you in my next video lots of love take care